One person can make a difference, and that's who we're celebrating tonight. People who are making a difference and people who are creating change on racial justice, on equity, and on mental health issues all across the globe. You know, Megan went out and they went out together, talked about suicidal ideation and racial justice at a time when people across the globe have had massive spikes in depression and in anxiety disorders and normalizing that discussion is extremely important. So we're proud of that and we think that they deserve recognition. I don't know enough about the allegations of racism in the royal family, I really don't. But there's racism everywhere in the world because racism stems from fear. Racism is a mechanism for you to blame someone for why you don't have what you believe you deserve. The great Alfre Warder told NYC Vibe tonight that nothing is more important for the acting community, New York, Hollywood, than to rally behind human rights, human rights abuses that we're seeing out in the open across the world. She feels this is the time that Hollywood, New York, has to speak up, and she's leading the way. Artists, we are in service in terms of our creativity to humanity. The reason we make art is to lift people individually and collectively. The RFK Human Rights Awards resonate with me because we honor everybody from everywhere in all parts of society that are working to change the human condition towards a more just and peaceful world. And I go on missions with them as well. Colonialism in itself directly affects racism everywhere. I think there's probably an evolution between today and the past. And not only do I think the, the royal family needs to deal with it, I also think that Europe needs to start speaking about racism. And there's a lot of what I call discrete racism in Europe, within the countries. When we think in Europe, we talk about diversity. What is diversity? Diversity is internationalism and women. You rarely talk about diversity as in a person of color. My sympathies are about diversity. My sympathies are about speaking about racism, saying that it exists, and not acting as though it doesn't exist. I think that we have to make sure that everybody has the same rights. Like, for example, we live in a society where people are being told that you have to approve of everybody's behavior. See, the problem with our society in America is that's the chasm is people, they're confusing approval with rights. You can sit there and say, I don't believe in an LGBTQ lifestyle. And I want to go, good for you. If you don't believe in a gay lifestyle, that's, that's your right to say that. You don't have to approve of it, but you can't say that those people can't get married. You just have to get out of their way and let them have all their rights. Don't confuse taste with rights.